So, what do you get when you cross N-gauge with O-scale? The answer, it turns out, is ON18. That's 1 48th O-scale trains running on 18-inch gauge track. This works because the gauge in N-gauge, that's the distance between the rails for the uninitiated, is 9 millimeters. And that works out to darn close to 18 inches in one quarter inch to the foot O scale. And in real life, 18 inches is a fairly common industrial narrow gauge for mining trams, factories, mills, and other short railways of that kind. Which brings us to Thunder Mesa's 18 inch gauge mining tram, the Horse Thief and Nevermind Railway. The Horse Thief and Nevermind runs high above the ON 30 main line, along the top of the mesas from the ore bins at Horse Thief Canyon, through Big Thunder Camp to Baxter's Butte and the Nevermind Tunnel. Its job is to deliver ore from the yet-to-be-built Big Thunder Mine to transfer points along the Thunder Mesa main line. In reality, the line exists to add some kinetic energy and animation that complements scenes on the larger railroad. And honestly, because they like the charming proportions and Disney-esque look of the undersized equipment. Let's look at a side-by-side -side comparison of a common Bachman ON30 Porter and my scratch-built ON18 Climax locomotive, where you can see the difference in proportions. If the Porter is small and cute, the ON18 steamer is even smaller and cuter. Of course, the problem, or opportunity, with something like ON18 is that absolutely nothing ready to run exists commercially. So you've got to use your wits and know-how to imagineer what you need. Fortunately, there are some cool 3D printed options available from skilled designers through Shapeways, and I've powered those with fine running Cato N scale mechanisms to create some of the line's early motive power. I've also tried my hand at designing some locomotives of my own, most recently the Class A Climax featured in this video. But before you can run trains, you've got to lay the track. When building the Horse Thief and Nevermind, I decided to use Pico HON30 flex track and turnouts. Yes, N scale, HON30, and ON18 all use the same track gauge of 9 millimeters between the rails. The chunkier ties and wider spacing of the Pico track make it a good visual choice for ON18 too. N scale track would look too small. Since the line exists primarily to bring visual interest to the larger layout, I don't bother with fancy decoders or sound for these tiny engines. Good old-fashioned DC power gets the job done just fine. My latest project for the ON18 Horse Thief and Nevermind is this freelanced Class A Baby Climax. While it's highly unlikely that such a locomotive was ever built by the Climax Locomotive Works, I wasn't about to let the truth get in the way of a good story or a fun model. The project started with a smooth running Cato 11-106 mechanism and some daydreams about a boot boilered Class A Climax geared locomotive. I had been collecting parts for a while with just such a model in mind and started off with a smoke box from an old Bachman Porter and boiler components shaped from some found ABS tubing. To fit over the mechanism I built a frame from scale 4x8s with a scribed basswood deck. It measures just two and a half inches long by one and one eighth inches wide. The stack and dome are parts from my scrap box. Similarly, the headlight and fuel bunker were rescued from a junked HO scale IHC 440, and the Russia iron boiler color was made by mixing about a teaspoon of Model Master silver with just a couple drops of ultramarine blue. The fancy graphics were created in Adobe Photoshop using realistic CG wood textures. Then they were printed out on high quality paper and laminated to illustration board to form the sides. The trickiest part of this technique is matching the paint colors on the real wooden parts to the colors that have been printed. I finished the cab with some more parts from my scrap box, a cardstock roof and an HO scale whistle. Sand lines are brass wire and the simplified back head details are from an old Grant line porter kit. The hard working engineer is from Aspen Models. And the brass bell is another item from the HO scale scrap box. Real wood in the bunker, brass wire handrails, lines from the bell and whistle, oiling cans, and a water barrel round out the model. Oh, and then there's the name. 
Horse Thief and Nevermind number 5 is named in honor of one of my all-time favorite Disney artists, Herb Ryman. So, let's take her out for a spin, shall we? I outfitted the locomotive with microtrains and scale couplers, and the little ore cars are Grantline HO scale models, regaged and repurposed for ON18. as far as the line goes for now. The Horse Thief Canyon ore bins have yet to be modeled. And you know, that sounds like a darn good topic for a future video. Until then, thanks for coming along for the ride, amigos. Adios for now. Mm -hmm.